In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a methane molecule. In the first part of the tutorial, I'll concentrate on making the model. Towards the end, I'll take a brief look at some of the underlying concepts. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press X to delete the default cube. Add mesh cylinder. Press S to scale. Hold down shift, press Z. Press point 0.2 and enter. And that will scale the cylinder in the X and Y directions, but not the Z. The cylinder will be a parent object, so we must apply the scale. Press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, 1 and enter. The cylinder will be rotated about its base, so we need to move the origin to the base. Transform origin to 3D cursor. In the properties panel, click the object properties, rename the cylinder bond, it represents the bond between the atoms. Add mesh UV sphere. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter. Press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, 2 and enter. Name the sphere hydrogen. And set its parent to be the bond. Click the material button. Click the browse material button. If the default material is there, we may as well use it. If not, click the plus to add a new material. Rename the material hydrogen. Click the diffuse color and set the red, green and blue values to 1. And set the intensity to 1. Click the F button so that the material is saved even if it isn't attached to any object. Select the bond. Click the Add New Material button, call the new material bond, click the diffuse colour and set the red, green and blue values to 0.3. Click the F button, select the sphere, hold down shift, select the bond, hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate, click the Object Properties and set the X rotation to 109.47 and enter. Duplicate again, Shift D and enter and set the Z rotation of the duplicate to 120. Duplicate again, Shift D and enter and set the Z rotation of the duplicate to 240. Add Mesh UV Sphere, press S to scale, 0.8 and enter. Click the Material button, click the Add New Material button, call the new material Carbon. Click the Diffuse Color, drag the slider down to make it black. Select All by Type Mesh and set the Shading to Smooth. Select the carbon atom, click the F button for the carbon material. I'm going to add two more materials for nitrogen and oxygen atoms using typical CPK colours. Click the plus to add a new material. Call the new material oxygen. Set the diffuse colour to be red full on and I'm going to increase the intensity to 1. Click the F button, click the Add New Material button, call the new material Nitrogen, click the Diffuse Color and set the red to 0, the blue to 1, and click the F button. Next, I'm going to have a quick look at the properties of a tetrahedron. I'm going to add a regular tetrahedron, Go to User Preferences, click Add-ons, click Add Mesh, tick Regular Solids, close the dialog box, Add Mesh Solids Platonic Tetrahedron. Press S to scale, 2 and Enter. Change the view to the top view. Press 
R to rotate, 90 and enter. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, we see that the hydrogen atoms lie at the vertices of the tetrahedron. If I go to the tetrahedron page on Wikipedia, scrolling down, in this diagram, the angle between the bonds is AOB. Scrolling down, the formula for the angle is arc cos minus a third, which is 109.47, correct to two decimal places. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.